We're just about set in Vegas. Underway, and it will be Thomas getting the first touch, and he had a crease, but a good job by the Trojan special teams. That's Meyer will throw quickly, and that's Kyra Lacy. First play of first down for LSU. First and ten from the 38. That's on a little half roll. He'll fire again, and Lacy, I think he got a foot down again. So two plays, and they go to a guy who made big plays for them as the third receiver a year ago. Yeah, and this time a little play action to get him away from potential pressure. This is a great catch by Lacy. That's Meyer. Fires out to the flat. There's Lacey, and he's going to have enough for the first down. Third catch of this drive for Tyron Lacey. There, Alexander. Now they stuck the game with for SC. It. They protect him, and they get it out to the tight end. Mason Taylor. Taylor all the way down to the 20-yard line, and he's got another first down for the Tigers. Now first and 10, just outside the 20. Back to the ground, and running with the ball. Jackson and Caleb Jackson showing that power. I checked that 18 not 28 is Josh Williams either way he's showing the power the offensive line is probably about a dozen more carries for the back a pass from Nussmeyer to Lacey in the end zone did he get it down he did not he'll throw the slant he's got it complete but his receiver will be stopped Pressure coming. They're on Nussmeyer. He gets away. And he has to throw it away. And the Trojans get a stop. Ellen Moss, who was the Holiday Bowl MVP, six touchdown passes, has now completed his first two passes of the game. Pressure coming. And Perkins got back there and hit Moss. And the Bayou Bengals swarm. And just as Danton Lynn got a big stop to get off the field, new LSU defensive coordinator Blake Baker dials one up. He sure does. And Had 13 plays on that last drive, got stopped on fourth down from three. Nussmeyer dumps it underneath to his back. Caleb Jackson. Nussmeyer to Aaron Anderson. He tries to make a guy miss, and he does. And Aaron gets it up to about the 44-yard line, third and six, to try to keep this drive going. Nussmeyer, Anderson has another catch, but he is going nowhere. What a tackle in the open field by Kamari Ramsey. Moss to throw. He has a man down the middle, finds his tight end, and Lake McCree makes his second catch. We'll see how they do tonight. SC setting it up, and there is Branch. Branch is electric. He's across the 45 and dances out of bounds just short of midfield to be able to win that edge pressure battle. And Shannon jumps up. Delay a game, defense using disconcerting signals. Five yard penalty, second down. And the defense rise up to the ground, easily picks up the first down as Joyner found a crease. He listed at 6'7", 320. Much bigger than that, he made a big block there. And Moss buys a little time, puts it into traffic. Did he pull that down? Kyron Hudson. What a catch. What a play. That's just a one hand. Let it? me throw my hand up and give it a shot. That's between two defenders. Then if they loses the ball, I'm sure they're going to take a look at that to see if he held on to it. I say just the for the effort, we give it review. to him. Hey, Early man. The field, a catch for a first down. One hand, ball comes out, two hands. I'm pulling for him. Hold on to that ball. That's a catch. I, th I, I think he I had it. Play stands in a 24-yard gain from Kyron Hudson, kid out of modern day. Watch the left arm, forearm. I think it prevents the ball from hitting the ground. The right hand had firm control. Miller Moss back to work, firing for the corner of the end zone, and there's going to be a flag and pass interference as Moss tried to get it to Jacoby Lane. Pass interference, him. defense number three. The foul never in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the two-yard line. And we'll give it to Montana. He's into the end zone for the first touchdown of the season for USC. Starts as a double team. Watch him stay on that block. 
and the back gets right behind it. Let's go back to the second and ten where we, we had a, a delay a game called on LSU. This movement right here. Bill, if you could come in and help us, because Brian Kelly is furious. This would have made it second and 15. What's the emphasis this year in this sport? It's brand new this year with the emphasis saying that if you're within a yard of the line of scrimmage, whether you're stationary or not, you cannot make a quick, abrupt, or exaggerated action. It just kind of gets it out in the flat there. Kirk had to pick up a few inches for the first down, and Williams will get him more than that. He's out close to the 45. He's gained some weight. We've seen him play linebacker at barely 200 pounds. As quick completion in Xavier Thomas. Street closed tonight. They expect to get him back later in the season. Nussmeyer back to work. Another completion. This one to C.J. Daniels. It's a first down for LSU. Now they've made the most of the guys that have been out there. Nussmeyer spread the ball around. Nussmeyer gets rid of it. This time Taylor sure-handed. He's got it for the first down. And Mason inside the 20-yard line. Lacey in motion. Nussmeyer looking that way. Now on the wheel. Throws it up. Lacey caught it. Did he get down this time? He did. Touchdown. Watch the reaction from SC's defense. You want to get a safety on your best receiver, and that's what they do with that motion. You get the safety down, look who has to try to cover that best receiver. Ball's there. He's in position, just doesn't make the play, doesn't finish on the play. He was in position, but the ball gets away from him. Ball was cut away from Lacey, but he does get a hold of it. Kyron Lacey, he was hit with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. I, I thought it was the dancing. Yeah, it's this. It's this. And, and, and That's a good call. Yeah, that is a good call. You really don't want to give him the extra room to work with. Here is Branch. Looking for room. Branch has a seam. Goodbye. Oh, I thought he had to be. Couldn't put a play by the kickoff man to get him. LasVegas.com. The kickoff return from Branch. Moss tries to pay it off immediately. And he does. He's got Deuce Robinson for the big game. Branch and then a scintillating play on the screen. Moss firing to the end zone. Going the other way. Oh, and he had it for a second. Knocked that ball away from him. It sure looked like that. It was a really good play by Stamps. A 22-yard field goal attempt is true for Lance. Good day yesterday. Defensive end coach for Miami Hurricanes. Yeah. They put it on Florida. First down conversion. Kyron Lacey, who caught the touchdown pass. The last couple of years have been very sieve-like and not the case. They're working for it in this one. Another strike from Nussmeyer to Lacey. He's inside the 35 and down to the 32. He is swinging darts, man. Taking a back seat to no one and being on target so far tonight. Now he needs 10 on third down. Dumps it to Taylor, and SC is there to stop him immediately. Between the 35 and 36, Ramos. With the weather on the way. And we are tied at 10 with a minute eight to play. Here in the first half. Well, Moss getting some heat. They tried to set it up to the back. Woody Barnes broke one tackle, but not the second one. A lot of white shirts there. Moss right down the middle and right on the money. Finds Makai Lemon. That'll be a first down to the 36. 15 seconds on the play clock. Go on the ground. Woody Marks has a seam. Marks inside the 20, and he's knocked down. Clock will stop to move the chains. Instead, they'll try to run again. Marks tried to slip one tackle, and he's knocked down at about the 12, and with three ticks, now two ticks, Lincoln gets the timeout. It is on the way, and he missed it. Empty backfield. Marks split out wide. They'll get it out to Makai Lemon, and Lemon had it knocked free. Lemon tried to get on top of it just in case it was a backward pass. I think that was Rolling on the pretty field clear. is a new complete pass. Nussmeyer fires outside, and that is a really good grab by C.J. Daniels, who tried to stretch to get that to the marker. Empty backfield. Miller Moss. Got time. Firing down the middle. This time, no one knocks it away from Ford. Ford across midfield. Moss throwing the fade, throwing deep, and flags coming everywhere as they're going to get P.J. Woodland, the youngster, the freshman, do especially for a true freshman. Defense number 11. 
Moss under heat. Down he goes. Flinch on the miss he had in 29. This one from 35. And this time he does not flinch, and he puts USC on top. Previous field goal drive for the Trojans. Nussmeyer over the middle. There's Mason Taylor. Taylor's got the catch again. Man, to be able to play in the NFL, that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> Look who's loose. It's John Emery back at LSU and the former highly touted high school running back who's had a star cross career rips off a huge gain on that one. 39 yards. LSU. <laughs> Back to Emery. Why not? Emery slamming inside the 20. He's got an LSU first down, it would appear. Bro, he's got Aaron Anderson. Anderson has a pass to the end zone. And LSU is back on top late in the third. Ramos on to try to make it 17-13 in a four-point edge, and he does. Well, we got a flag, get some pushing and shoving after the extra point. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, correction, defense number six. That 15 yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Perfect by Nussmeyer, but after he makes his throw, watch the collision by two USC defenders. I mean, there's a chance there, very, very good chance that he's not going to get into the end zone. Let's have a look at what happened at the end of that extra point that led to that kickoff. Dive in and just, just in the middle and. A fake little trickery, and the ball's on the ground, and man, oh man, is USC fortunate to come up with that. Right over the center, this is pass rushing guys, but only three of them. Shan gets right to Miller Moss, and he hits him, and Miller delivers it in time, but it'll be well short of the first down, being able to finish his career in a place that's been important to him, and boy, he's had an impact in this game tonight as Nussmeyer flips it out there, and the aforementioned Mr. Emery is becoming a go-to guy. And just to remind people, I know LSU fans know this, but when they signed him, they, they thought they had the, the back for the future. Seven guys up tight. They brought in Mason Taylor to help handle it. He doesn't go out into the route, and he does. And thrown out of the backfield, complete to Josh Williams. Lemon in motion. Moss throwing the glass, finds McCree, and late McCree who's had some big plays tonight. So good to have the pads on. He's made an impact tonight. Both Moss is feeling all kinds of heat. And how? In the world did he get that in there? Jacoby Lane with a grab. 40 again on this blitz, and he gets in clean. Well, I thought he'd at the very least get a hand on this. His counterpart trying to give SC the lead back. Boss down the middle. Another completion and another USC first down on fourth down in LSU territory. Moss fires, and it's battered away again. And this time it rolls. Intercepted. I'm not sure he controlled it. Whit Weeks again had it in his hands. And Emory, and he is hit in the backfield, and he didn't get there. Another stoppage should they need it. Miller Moss back to work, firing. Got Kyron Hudson. Hudson into LSU territory inside the 45. <laughs> He's trying to give his team the lead. Pressure off the edge, but they get loose. It's Woody Marks. Marks bouncing off tacklers inside the 30 and down to about the 28-yard line. Another explosive play for the Trojans. Free play. Uh, he caught Major Burns offside. Moss going to try to make him pay. Throwing to the end zone. He's got But because he put it up and over the receiver and let him run underneath it, it's a heck of a job of using his body by Jacoby Lane there and then pushing off late because the ball's thrown over that outside shoulder. Getting on top of him, Nussmeyer gets it off. Needs to pick up the first down here. He's got a wide open Anderson, and he's into USC territory. Aaron Anderson knocked down inside the 30, and Nussmeyer comes up with a huge play to Aaron Anderson. On second and 10, backfield's empty. Nussmeyer stands in, fires to the outside, and the catch is made by Xavier Thomas for a first down. One red zone stop against LSU, the opening drive of the game. Can they get another? Flag flying, Nussmeyer throwing, and ball is broken up, intended for Kyron Lacey. Illegal shift, offense number 18 and number two. The penalties decline. On the way and right down the strip here in Las Vegas, and we are tied at 20. 
LSU would like to get pressure to keep everything in front of them. They're able to do so, but that will be a first down. Jacoby Lane lined up on the left side of the offense. They'll run the ball and get the first down. They tried to do that in the first half to stop the clock, and they didn't get the first down and kept rolling. Boy, could they use those right now? I'm yep. sure they're thinking, see if Moss can make up for it. Throws back to Kyron Hudson, who smartly steps out of bounds with 22 seconds to go. Second down and 15. Got to get it into field goal range. Moss throwing to Hudson. Hudson takes a big hit, but he got the hut. What a catch again. That's two spectacular catches, and there's a flag down. This may put them right on the doorstep for field goal range if it's targeted. Personal foul targeting defense number two. And I think we figured out Kyron Hudson. Yep. He just <laughs> likes to make the crazy catch. Make it hard. He likes right. to make that crazy <laughs> catch. Now they call targeting. Of course, they're reviewing it. The replay officials to make sure. 15 yards and closer, or may perhaps half the distance. They don't see exactly where the spot is. At any rate, it would make it a very short field goal. The ruling on the field of targeting is confirmed. Number two is disqualified for the remainder of the game. The transfer from Georgia Southern. Woody Marks might make it a moot point, and he does. Talk about all the field goals, and Woody Marks rumbles into the end zone, and USC is on top with eight seconds to play. 55 to 60 yards away from the line of scrimmage. Nussmeyer throws an interception, and that's how it's going to end. Hi, everyone. I'm Wheels, and I'm excited to welcome you all back to the channel for my seventh year covering college football. If you're a college football fan, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which could be done by clicking on my logo on screen and then hitting subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you in the next one.